Hey guys, this is my name from Civil Center and welcome to another video tutorial on Techless Textual Designer. So before starting, let me tell you something about our course on the G Plus 3 Building Design using Techless Textual Designer, which is a 30 days course if uh, every class is one hour. So basically in this course, we are dealing with the entire aspects of the building planning, uh, past two considerations, requirement collection of structural drawing, column positioning, center line, introduction, uh, you know, this all these steps of the THD loading analysis and design and the design interpolation to get uh, economical and safe design which is the duty of every structural engineer and then also we'll cover the manual design of staircase because the staircase design is not done in Tecla and after that how to generate the BOQ and how to make the final structural drawing seat all these things will be covered in our course and our live course which is one hour and uh, which is done in the evening time so that professionals can also attend it it is at a course the fee of currently rupees 13,000 in Indian rupees and if you want to go for the recorded session we also have the facility of the record decision of this also so the record session is at a price of rupees 3500 currently the links have been given in the description as well as in the comment box you can avail that particular thing so now let's get back to the model and apply the seismic loads uh, to sort of tell you already before applying the seismic load the dead load as well as the live loads as you can see have been implied on the building so we'll apply the seismic loads. So we'll go simply to loads here. And after going to loads, we have the seismic load. Go to seismic wizard and we are selecting the code spectra. Next, we'll select the ignore seismic below. So we lay named this level, that is the plinth level as base. So we'll just select this structure base. And then we had done two more floors above it. So after selecting this, as you can see, all other data are taken by the Tecla automatically. As per the IS1893, importance vector, importance vector for residential building is 1, so we'll take that. Next, and we'll use model response spectrum analysis as per IS1893. Select next. Structure type, as you can see, this is RC moment resisting frames, so we'll select that. Reinforced concrete moment resisting frames. And then we'll select moment frame systems. After that, click on next. And these are the combinations of or inclusion including the dead load and the live loads which the seismic load takes into account so we'll take that into consideration so what we can do we can also select all of them at once and bring them in this side after that click on next here and then finish after that it will create some load combinations as per the seismic load just select operating next so we have, you know, in the IS codes, when you do the calculations, we have the two factors here, the WS, which stands for the working stress method and the LS, which stands for the limit state methods. So we'll select the LS or the limit state method and then click on next finish. And after that, we'll generate some load combinations as per our IS code. Click on generate and then click on next and then just click We'll select all the limit state combinations to go by, then click on next, next. We don't want any notional horizontal force here, so we'll just click on finish. And then OK. And here, your seismic loads have been applied successfully. If you found our video useful, then hit the like button. It really helps our YouTube algorithm and helps us to reach more of potential students. Thank you. Have a nice day.